Welcome to this channel. This channel is for education and culture based on historical and scientific evidence. So today I'd like to share with you that for the Wing Chuners who really care for Wing Chun and want to uh, improve on one's Kung Fu, one need to have a professional mindset, meaning one need to speak and act based on evidence, both historical and scientific. Or else one is living in a delusion, like a doo-doo bird living in a hole. So the reason I like to share this with you today is that uh, a few days ago, uh, Sifu Mark Wiley's and mine uh, podcast was released. Okay, so this is the podcast in uh, Sifu Mark Wiley's uh, YouTube channel. And after that, as usual, many people is commenting like this. Sounds like Hendrik visited the Freemason Society in San Francisco, make some friends and dream up a new history of Wing Chun complete with techniques and drawing, but he's not Sifu. That's good because any student would be pity lost and confused, blah, blah, blah. So due to this, many of my friends ask me to respond. And so today I'm responding this in public. Now, this response is not target to this person, but using this, as an educational example that we need to be careful what we are dealing with and we need to have a professional mindset. Without the mindset, it is actually living in a delusional world. Now, what most don't know what most people don't know in the West is that in Asia, this is how Wing Chun is looked at. This is a joke. Okay? This is how Wing Chun is looked at, making joke at. This is in a book that people question. Wing Chun. Over here, he say that Wang Chun, eternal spring. Wing Chun, praise spring, is just a name. It doesn't matter that this is proper or not proper name. Okay? Uh, as soon as uh, you can just spread it, that's good enough. You look at Bruce Lee, how many Wing Chuners are actually making use of Bruce Lee to make money, okay? And over here is saying that Yip Man is uh, saying that Wing Chun is from Song San Shaolin. And here say that, uh, isn't it that uh, it is from Shaolin Shaolin? This is all target to questions on Grandmaster Yip Man saying that uh, Wing Chun is from Shaolin. So this is just an example on how the Asia MMA player like Xi Xiaodong and uh, the Chinese martial Kung Fu master look at Wing Chun. Thus, if we are not careful if we are not profession in our mindset, professional in our mindset, 
how are you going to face this type of uh, of uh, of joking at you make joke at you how are you going to respond to this type of questions or looking down in fact as you say that you see how many Wing Chun nurses are actually uh, making use of uh, Bruce Lee to make a living. Okay. So, let me share with you this. Okay, so he have a uh, four thing here I want to respond to. Number one, he said that in this podcast, this is actually aimed for uh, presenting a lot of information, which is based on historical and scientific, to the Wing Chuners and to the public. Why? Because we need to rectify this. Okay, this and this. If you don't rectify this, That is how Wing Chun is written in the history. Okay? See, we don't even look into like uh, in the West, how people rate Wing Chun. Just watch the YouTube, you see how bad is it. So, we need to be careful. We need to be really have a professional mindset to, to talk okay so here it said that sound like hendrick visited the freemason society in san francisco make some friends and dream up a new history of wing chun complete with techniques and drawing well this type of talk is really one thing it tell me, this person never comprehend what is present here. And just based on what he like or he don't like, and then uh, just, just speak out of blue, okay? What I present here, and this is serious, what I present here, okay? Wing Chun 1850, the anti Ching, the real anti Ching Wing Chun, is based on the anti ching organization and that anti ching organization right now there's a branch in uh, san francisco which is the chinese freemason society the branch is there since 1840s and within if you are real anti ching there are secret code you know, if you have uh, not watched this uh, YouTube yet, there are secret code, secret password to identify yourself. Like uh, our friend who is the anti-Ching, who fought against Ching, the Hong Seng Chai Le Fat, they have their secret code in their salutations. And also he have their gesture to present that they are belong to a part or a sect of the anti ching Okay? Now, Wing Chun at that time have a salutation because Wing Chun, everybody talk about Wing Chun is a female art. So this is how the salutations of a female in the 1850s and so this is how the opening salutations of Wing Chun because it's a female art so please watch the, uh, the the podcast you can see all the details and also it has is uh, anti-ching password so for one martial art to claim that one is from the anti ching and it is uh belong to say wing chun belong to the female uh the 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 the, the male play female 
roles of the red boat, anti Ching red boat, it has to have that gesture, the special gesture, and that uh, password so that people can identify who you are. So, contrary to this thing, Contradict to saying this, sound like Hendrik visit Freemason Society in San Francisco, make some friends and dream up a new history of Wing Chun complete with techniques and learning. Well, this is actually MD talk, which is baseless. Okay, now to 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 flip it over. Could I question this person, say, hey, you guys say that your Wing Chun is a female art. How come you don't have the salutations of a female? You look at when you when you, when you uh, practice your Wing Chun sets, did you have a female salutation? You don't. Are you fake? You say you're anti-Ching. So please show me the uh, anti-Ching Password, as we know in the Chinese Freemasons society, they are password. Okay. So there's what how clear it is. If you want to talk about something, you better have the evidence. Okay. Now, again, this is the father of the modern China who is also an anti-Qing. So the uh, Chinese Freemasons of America have supported Sun Yat-sen to overturn the Qing. Well, this all is history. It is not dreamed up. So stop to have this type of uh, false accusations, okay? Now, speaking of this, I like to share with you one thing. At the end of the Qing Dynasty, there is a saying. The saying is, Nei to nei hang, wai to wai hang. Saying those officials of the Qing Dynasty, Playing internal politics, your expert, but facing the Westerner and the Japanese, you are no can do. So, meaning that you play your own people's politics, you are expert, but when you get to facing the Japanese, the Westerner, you completely no can do. Well, this type of mentality. Is exactly that way. Internally, you say, oh, this is wrong, that is wrong, while well, you just make all any kind of accusation. But hey, this is there since uh, 2019. Anybody try to rectify it? This is there in the books since 10 years ago. Anybody rectify it? We don't even talk about the critics of Wing Chun in the West. We just talk about in China and in this particularly in Hong Kong. Okay. So there is exactly internally you playing politics and you try to drag other people down, drag things down. You are expert. But externally, when you're facing your rival, it's no can do. Okay. So that type of uh, non-professional and that type of really the Qing type of thinking, that has to stop. And here he said that, oh, uh, dream up new history and then Wing Chun of Wing Chun and complete with techniques and drawing. Well, if you watch this video, you know. If you watch this podcast, you know. The anti-Qing Chinese is using 
the Ming Dynasty's military art from Qi Qi Guang. So Wing Chun is derived from, or uh, it is an offspring from the, uh, the, the Ming Dynasty military art. So this is what it is. This is how it linked together. This is how it linked to Shaolin. This is your so-called plum flower footwork. Everybody today talk about plum flower footwork. That's what it is, okay? And this is your sticking body short strike. And here it said, no hatred is the key. It is not your movie saying that Wing Chun is for uh, using hatred or uh, as a as as a mentality, okay. And also, we know today the Shaolin, the sticking body short strike, the Er Man Shi er Zhuang is for refining the body handling and the chi handling. And there are some Fujian White Crane techniques. That is what we is 1850, the anti Qing Wing Chun. We also know that there are two types of Wing Chun. The second type is what today's Wing Chun based on. It is a pro Qing Wing Chun. They are no longer anti Qing. They are pro Qing. So in their writing, like the Snake Crane Wing Chun writing, or Tai Fa Ming Gam or Sun Gam writing, it is loving Qing. Okay, and never teach the Westerner. And uh, this is uh, like uh, from the Yip Man lineage from Leong Zhan, also loving Qing. So today's Wing Chun, we like it or not, it is belongs to the 1870s Pro Qing Wing Chun. So there are two types of Wing Chun there. Okay, by evidence. So stop saying this type of stuff where you don't have any evidence at all now of course when you face Xi Xiaotong when you face this masters of Kung Fu in Asia people is not going to buy into all your talk okay they laugh at you if you don't have historical evidence to support you, okay? So that's the reason why the podcast, I share so many things. Now, this is exactly what the story of the past 100 years, where you got uh, the Shaolin, you have the Qi Sim, and all sort of stuff. Sorry, this is not the history. This is somebody's stories. So we need to differentiate about it. This kind of thing exists there since uh, about 100 years ago, but people like this, they don't look at you for serious. Why? Because those are their stories. But if you if you have this type of stuff, the anti Qing, where today China is is actually based on the effort of the anti Qing to overturn the Qing to get to today, people start to get serious. Okay? And when this is the Ming Dynasty military using in battlefield then people will not laugh at you like this. Okay? So, that is how serious it is and how important it is to not speak nonsense like this. Okay? So this is uh, my first openly reply to this type of thing. If you don't know, you better don't say a thing because it is only going to screw up Wing Chun. Now, this is the second thing I want to respond. You said that 
but he is not a sifu saying that uh, Hendrik is not a sifu that's good because any student would be pretty lost and confused the longer he makes up story and more he depart from reality <laughs> now as for this sifu Everybody who watches channel know that I never like to talk about those seafood, those title stuff. The bottom line, as I just shared with you, what important is technical history, the uh, Chinese history evidence, the science, not who is seafood, who is not seafood. Okay? Not to mention today, how much seafood you got all around the world? Okay, so that's how much it worth when when uh people talk about seafood, seafood. Now, as for about this, he is not a seafood. Let me let me share with you this. This is 2017 in Fatsang, Canton. I was invited to a meeting. All of this here is the leader of different style in Fatsang, Canton. I was there. This is me. When I was here, they call me Sifu. Okay, Sifu. Now, if I could ask a question to this person, if I could ask a question to this person, he said that Hendrik is not a seafood. Let me ask this person. All of this, the leader of the Masya in Fatsan call me Sifu. So you think that you have higher qualifications than all of the Sifus in Fatsan? So you 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 think that all of the Sifu don't know what they are talking about and you know more than all the Sifu and you have more qualification than this Sifu. To say that I'm not a seafood. So could I ask that questions? Could I also ask, if you are so great, why don't you join this meeting in Fasan? Why don't people invite you there? Okay. Now, on this thing, on this thing, that's good because any student would be pretty lost and confused. The longer he makes up story, the more depart from reality. So, this is my new book. My new book, Decoding Wing Chun. Inside there, it presents 160 years since the uh, anti-Qing, Wing Chun until today. It presents the technology of breathing and the training, body conditioning. So it is in this book. And it met into today's sports science. And it is measurable. Okay, and by the way, this is all the data of my conditioning. This is my VO2 max, this is my endurance, this is my handling of heart rate, this is my handling of my breathing rate and the uh, heart rate variability. Okay, and with this model on, presenting what is there in the anti-Qing Wing Chun, which is 
not seen for past 160 years, and it is never exist in today's Wing Chun three sets and wooden dummy and any lineages. Okay, it is there. And this, and this content, actually it is part in the level of Shaolin, prior to the burning of Shaolin in uh, early 1900s, is par with uh, Robert Fitzsimon, the Western boxing champion, is par with the Kyokushin Ibuki eh? and other breeding training. It's par with uh, Rickson Gracia, the breeding control. Okay, as you see there, the way you breathe, you can lower your heart rates. So in this book, which I wrote, it is a collection, or actually it is a, a presenting a system of how to breathe, how to handle the intra-abdominal pressure, how to condition a body for the fight, which never exists in past 130 years since 1870, disregard of what lineage. Okay, so that's scientifically proven. Now, could I ask, could I ask, how come your Wing Chun, disregard your colleague, you are from Chi uh, Sim, from Mui, from Tai Fa Ming, Kam Sam, Kam Leong Zhan, up to today, there is zero information on that. Could I ask that? And because of zero information, you know that it is not par with Kyokushin, with Shaolin, with uh, Western boxing, with DJJ. So could I ask a question? So is your Mui, Ji Sim, whatever your ancestor, all are Sifu, or they are not even as good as the black belt of Kyokushin or BJJ or Western boxing? Could I ask that questions? And also, could I ask the questions, can your training being scientific proven as I just shared with you? It is, can they examine with spot signs, measure with spot signs. So, he said that that's good because any student would be pity lost and confused. The longer he makes up story and more he depend, departs from reality. Could I ask a question? Whatever I do can be verified with uh, today's spot signs, it has its equivalent with Kyokushin, with Shaolin, with Western boxing and with BJJ. What do you have? Could I ask, what do you have? What do you have for past 130 years? Could I ask that questions? Should I ask that questions? See, this is the exactly problem. You don't have anything. And you keep in saying things and uh, try to put this down, put that down. But when you face, like I share with you, Xi Xiao Tong there and uh, the Hong Kong uh, uh, Chinese Kung Fu master writing books, what can you say to them? When you face like the Kyokushin, like the uh, BJJ, like the Western boxing for the training and the condition of the body, what do you have to par with them? And you want to call yourself like, oh, this guy is not a Sifu and uh, he's making it confused. What type of thing is that? Okay. So again, I never like to go for this type of thing because what is the point? 
to get into this, one need to be able to present evidence, present technical evidence, historical evidence, scientific evidence, and see whether how it is powered with other martial instead of, oh, he's not a seafood. He creates confusion. Oh, uh, this is just made up. What do you have? Okay. Well, if you have those kind of mentality, it is exactly the Qing mentality. That's why Qing collapsed. You're playing politics inside there, and it's garbage in, garbage out. But when you're facing the Japanese, facing the Westerner, all no can do. That's what it is. Okay? And here it said that you can blend similar things together like Freemasons and Western uh, and Boxer Society and Kinyan Day Society. Well, this is, again, have no clue on how this reality of Chinese history for evidence and just keeping taking one cell like a one know it all. There are a lot of people like this in the West today. So what is contribute to? It's only contribute to this. People are gonna love the hell out of you and people are gonna question what the heck do you do? They're gonna look down at you. Like this is a, a, a very obvious this is a look down. And if you really want to face, like, uh, say, uh, Rickson Gracie, uh, Gracie here saying that the way you breathe, you can lower your heart rate. Do you know how to do it? If you don't even know what is going on like that, it means that you are not pa. Your Kung Fu is just very low level. Like this is the, the Kyokshin Ibuki they're using for fight. Uh, this is the, the, the Robert Fisamon's uh, uh, breathing, breathing exercise. When your Wing Chun have zero of this, you couldn't even breathe. Now you tell me, what do you know? You tell me, how far can your Kung Fu go? Okay. And you want to talk about this uh, anti-Ching as what I just mentioned. If you really belong to anti-Ching, you need to be able to present your password right away and your salutations right away or else you are fake. And in fact, today we know, today's Wing Chun have no salutation. Why? Because they are pro-Ching, they are not anti-Ching. That's why all the salutation being ripped off so that's reality. Okay. And here you say, likewise, you can jump, you can just jump to animal star in the same region because they were there. Wing Chun is not an animal star Kung Fu is designed for the human body. You know, to answer this one, to answer likewise, you can just you can just jump to animal star in the same region because they they were there. Wing Chun is not an animal style Kung Fu. It is designed for human body to answer this particularly. Please watch my video, this one. This video, the Wing Chun 1850 way, rising up to the challenge of the rivals. Know exactly what is Wing Chun 1850s before he won't speak, okay? By the way, rising up to the challenge of the rivals is from uh, the theme of Rocky Three, Eye of Tigers. If you don't know what is here in this YouTube, you call yourself, oh, I'm Wing Chun this and that. Sorry, you are just partial. You will never be pa with BJJ. You will never be pa with Kyokushin. You will never be pa with Western boxing because you don't know what you are doing. 
That is how it is. You never part with Chai Lei Fat because you don't know what you are doing. What making stories? Who cannot making stories? So this is what I want to share with you today. Martial art meaning that you need to be able to speak the truth, to be honest with yourself, to base things on truth. Not all just talk, 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 all this uh, comment and this and that, but what, what do you have? You say that, oh, you're anti-Ching, well, show me. What is your anti-Ching passwords, which is verifiable with the Freemason, the Chinese Freemasons, like in the San Francisco. What is your salutation, which is present your identity? You want to talk about Sifu? You better have the standard, the qualification on those uh, leaders in Fatsang China before speak. You want to talk about uh, the, the training? You better have the standard of like today's Kyokushin, BJJ, and Western sports. And you need to perform it. Like I shared, just shared with you, this is my data. If you don't have that data, how the hell are you going to teach your student? And at last, stop the calling this what uh, Wing Chun is designed for human and, and so forth. If you don't know the theme of Wing Chun, you don't know the totality systems and the development of Wing Chun, what do you know anyway? So this is what I like to share with you. It is a very problematic now. So for those Wing Chuners who want to uh, proceed further, who want to develop your Kung Fu, who want to help your lineage to become better, you better stop those empty words type of uh, comments like I just shared with you. Because to play politics internally for past 60 years, past, past 100 years, what it does it bring you? Can you even face Xi Xiaotong? When Xi Xiaotong make fun of you, can you even rectify it? When the Chinese Kung Fu master write a, 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 a book there challenging the, uh, the, the, uh, the writing of Yip Man, challenging the name of Wing Chun, the proper name of Wing Chun, can you stand up to say, hey, you better shut up because this is where we're from. We are from Anhai Ching. We are from here, 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 here. If you do that with Xi Xiaotong, with this type of uh, all this uh, uh, Chinese master, what they can say? They cannot say a thing. Why? Because it's history. It just shows that they don't know. But nobody will buy in with, oh, yeah, you know, you are not Sifu, I'm not Sifu. What the heck is that? So the final thing I want to say here is show the evidence, history and scientific, or else don't talk about anything. Because you only contribute to the downfall of Wing Chun.